something took place. Whenever we speak something, something should take place. When you pray for somebody, you should instantly see a change. Why? Because they don't hear you speaking, they hear him speaking. That's why you got to know who you are in him. You got to know your identity. You got to know that you are an ambassador. God has given you authority from heaven. Come on here to operate on this earth realm as if he was here. That when people see you, they don't see you, they see him. But see, we, we got to understand that living in the realm of the spirit. That's why you can't go by what you feel. That's how I come to yell when I get tired, but I get to get on that altar and I had to speak to this body and I had to say, you know what? Receive the strength of the Lord. I speak life to my body. You will live and not die. Come on here. I speak the tiredness. You got to go in the name of Jesus. As I continue to contend with that thing, it'll just break. See, you got to begin to open up your mouth. See, because God got to show you, you got the power and authority. Yes. See, it don't do me no good for me to tell you. He got to show you. That's why he letting us go through these things so that we can understand. We can pray our way out of it. We can pray our way through it. But we will say, well, I'm just waiting on the power. No, you can't wait on the power. You may not be able to get in touch with me. That's right. That's it. You need to know how to know that you got power and you got authority. That's why he said that you are a we Amen. And you know, not only can do we need to speak it. Because when you begin to open up your mouth and you speak the word, if you speak it enough, he'll give you the picture and you can see it. Sometimes you have to keep speaking it, keep speaking it, keep speaking it until you see it. Because your words, because you got to understand that word that was logo, now it don't came a rhema because you don't spoke it. So now that thing, he don't show you a picture of what you've been speaking. So I've been speaking, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Now he's showing you a picture, you coming out. See, that picture came as a result of what you were speaking. See, if you never said nothing, you could have never got the vision to see it. And that's why God said, I give you a creative ability. Come on here. That's what he told Adam to name all the animals. See, we got an ability to create something. Did you, when you name your children, you gave their name and that's what they respond by, right? Isn't that a creative ability? So why wouldn't we get, why can't we speak to our situation and say, I'm coming out of this situation. I don't care what it looks like. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know he's going to do it. And I know he brought me out and I'm thanking him for bringing me out. I ain't moved by what it looks like. I don't mind. And then if you got any person that's talking to you that does not agree with you or they talking crazy, you don't need to be talking to them about the situation. Because if we're going to be living in the good life, in the realm of the spirit, we need to buy the Bible. So how can two walk together unless they in agreement? you got to have somebody that's agreeing with you. And then you can't be telling each and every person what God is doing because everybody ain't going to believe you. Some people don't even want you to walk in that place. Because then that's the problem. See, the enemy don't care nothing about you reading the Bible. The problem is, is when you do what the Word of God says, when you believe what the Word, that's when he got a problem with you. Yes. Yes. And that's why. Thank you. Because we're looking at, as we look at Romans 1. Looking at verse 3. It says, The good news is about his son. In his earthly life, he was born into King David's family line. And he was shown to be the son of God when he was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, God has given us the privilege and authorities as apostles to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them so that they will believe and obey him, bringing glory to his name. See, even as we open up our mouth looking at the first verse, it says the good life, the good, the good news is about his son. And see, as I told you last week, everything that we go through, you got to put it in your memory. It's not about me. It's about him. So when I'm arguing with my husband, this thing ain't about me. It's about him. When I'm arguing with my children, it's not about me and my children. It's about him. When they're trying to gang up on me on my job, it's not about me. It's about him. See, you got to understand God is using us to bring the good news to the world about him. But see, if we make it about us, we're going to get distracted. They hurt my feelings. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you roll your eyes at me? How dare you say that to my child? See, now we don't forget that we believe it. We forgot what we told the Lord. And see, you got to understand that if you're going to be spiritual beings, you got to understand it's about Him. And keep it about Him. That's what you got to tell yourself. And see, that'll keep you from being in a world of trouble, getting distracted. 
Because here, you got to recognize that here it says, He gave us authority, verse 5, as apostles to tell Gentiles. If we're not all apostles, but we're apostolic people, to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them so that they will believe and obey Him. See, in other words, you got to open up your mouth and tell people what God has done for you. But if you don't believe He ain't did nothing for you, how you going to tell somebody? See, that's why we got to get this spirit thing together. Understanding whose side we going to be on, the devil's side or God's side. Right, that's it. Mm -hmm. Because see, I'm going to show you as we go down in the Word, let's, let, let's look at verse 17. It says, the good news tells us how God makes us right in His sight. You see, his, you see that word say, His sight? Not our sight. But it tells how the word of God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. Is that what your Bible says? Mm -hmm. Do your Bible say that? Romans 1 verse 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, it, for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written. So live by faith. Okay, so in other words, same thing. In other words, that even the just shall live by faith. In other words, if you had to believe and confess to start this thing, you got to believe and confess to end it. It's going to take faith to walk in the realm of the Spirit. You can't think that you're going to feel comfortable holding on to the side of the pool and tell them I'm going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let go and walk into the deep. It's going to take some faith. Because we talked about faith even Sunday. Faith is when you're fully persuaded and you're walking in expectation. Come on. While I'm going through, I'm expecting God to do 